When will the robots take over? I love it when there's a technology first in Northern Ireland, especially if it's to do with robots. At Daisy Hill Hospital in County Down, a machine has been stalking the corridors. Although it may look a bit like a Dalek, it's here to help rather than destroy mankind. This is the first telepresence robot introduced into a UK hospital and allows an intensive care specialist based over 20 miles away in Craigavon to examine and interact with critically ill patients. Their heart and lungs are monitored through the machine by a specialist who is virtually by their bedside 24-7. Pretty cool, but it's the world of robotic surgery that really excites me. Hmm. Now, if you're thinking of a flustered C-3PO with a scalpel, think again. This is the world of remote, computer-assisted telemanipulators. This field includes the merging of robotic tech, computer tech and 3D visualisation systems. A great example is a gallbladder removal that was carried out in France by a surgical robot. Its movements were controlled by a surgeon watching a video link at a console. In New York, transatlantic robotic surgery. Just think how this tech could be used on a wounded soldier in the battlefield or even an astronaut in space. Some people get a little freaked out by the concept. But to me, combining the decision-making and learning of humans with the precise, unchecking movement of robots makes perfect sense. Perhaps in the future it'll seem bizarre that operations were ever carried out using surgeons' hands. The age of the robot is already here. We're using robots every day to make our lives easier, from self-service checkouts and Siri on our iPhones to the coming world of driverless cars and drones that deliver packages right to your door. But what's crucial is that we are in control. The word robot derives from a Czech word meaning slave labour, and we are very much the overlords to these machines. But could that change? Well, we've already got a super machine on our side. The most sophisticated machine on the planet, in fact. The human brain. This three pounds of grey matter is made up of up to 100 billion neurons, with about 100 trillion connections between them processing instructions per second at a rate in the quadrillions. This is one slick piece of hardware. But IBM made a huge breakthrough last year with the first neurosynaptic computer chip, achieving an unprecedented scale of 1 million programmable neurons, 256 million programmable synapses, and 46 billion synaptic operations per second. Time to celebrate? or panic. Well, Murr's law states that essentially computers processing power doubles every 18 months. So some theorists believe that by the year 2070, we will reach what is known as the singularity. This means that robot technology will become so sophisticated, they will begin to replicate themselves, leading to a combined artificial intelligence that is greater than our intellectual capacity. Okay. Maybe then we're in trouble. But it seems a long way off before any robot is capable of true creative thought or of identifying visual objects and speech with the same flexibility and reliability as us humans. We're just too clever for them. For now.